stately over the floor. Go away and let it dry for 20 minutes. Come back to find your floor shining like new. Protected from scuffing and wear. Dirt can't stick to the beautiful gleaming polish. Soil spots are easily wiped away. Slow Coat makes floors so much easier to care for. It actually saves you hours of work over a period of time. Be sure you see the name Johnson's Glow Coat on the attractive yellow can. And now that we've told you how to have bright, shining floors for a song, here's the song. Miss Kay Donna, our little blonde balladies, gives us confession. I'm confessing that I love you. Tell me, do you love me? I'm confessing that I need you, honest I do. In your eyes I read the strange thing, but your lips deny their truth. Will your answer really change things making me do? I'm afraid someday you'll leave me Saying can't we still be friends If you go you'll know you'll grieve me All in life on you depend Am I guessing that you love me Dreaming dreams of you in vain I'm confessing that I love you over again. I'm confessing that I need you honest I do. Oh, I need you every moment. dining room of the McGee home at 79 Wistful Vista, where Fibber McGee and Silly Watson are struggling manfully with the wallpapering, as Molly looks in occasionally to check results. Did you stir this here paste up good like I told you, Silly? Yes, sir. Why? I don't know. It seems kind of lumpy under the paper is all. And, hey, Silly. Yes, sir. Does that there strip we got on upside down show up much? Yes, sir. Oh, shucks, it don't, neither. I don't think nobody would ever think twice about it. Even if McGee? they did. Except maybe Molly. What's the matter, Molly? Uh, McGee, it looks terrible. Oh, For heaven's sake, you haven't even matched the edges now. Look at it over there. Where? Right there. Why, the poppies is cut right in two. Well, poppies is cut flowers, ain't they? Look at me furniture. <laughs> All splashed up with paste. A fine paper hanger you are. I, I told you about splashing that paste. Silly. Yeah, so you say never mind. It washes off easy, that's what she says. <laughs> oh, ho, McGee says that, did he? McGee, look at yourself. There's taste in your ears and your hair and... Oh, shucks, it's just flour and water. We got plenty more. Ready to give another strip there, silly? Yes, sir, coming up. Y'all got that side? Yep, now easy now. Now slide her over, Mike. Up a little, McGee. Down on your side, silly. Yes. No, that's too much. Up a little. Not you, McGee. How's this? Don't look at me. Look at what you're doing. Now, then, over to the left a little. No, no, the left, eagerness. Oh, here? Sure, that's fine. Face it right there now. Okay. 
There she be. Ah. How's that? Well, now that's one piece you got on right. Uh oh, old paper coming off the wall, ball. Oh. <laughs> For heaven's sake, can't you even make it stay on the wall? Can you beat that? I forgot to put no paste on it. Oh. <laughs> Give me that paper, paste brush, silly. Yes, yeah, so here it is. Okay. How do you like the room so far, Molly? It's going to look pretty snappy, in it? <laughs> I hope you get it done by Thanksgiving. <laughs> We've got company coming for dinner, you know. And goodness knows it's not far away. Let's see now. Thanksgiving comes on a Thursday. The last Thursday... What date does Thanksgiving come on, McGee? 25th of December. Or no. No. <laughs> no, that's Christmas. Let's see, uh... 30 days has September, April, June, and no, no, that won't help now. <laughs> Chucks, I don't know this year, Molly. You know, silly? What? Do you know what day Thanksgiving comes on this year? No, ma'am, they're going to have one this year again. <laughs> <laughs> don't be foolish, silly, or vice versa. Well, I'll have to look at me calendar. Where is it, McGee? Huh? Where's what? Me calendar. Me calendar, what'd you do with it? Who, me? Chucks, I ain't seen it. Have you, silly? Uh-huh. Oh, where? where? Over there on the wall. Over there? Well, sir. so that's what makes the paper so lumpy over there. <laughs> that read it, silly, didn't I tell you specially to take that there calendar down before you put the paper up? No, so all you say is be careful about scrubbing up the calendar, and I was real careful. <laughs> I just kind of figured y'all didn't want it no more, boss. It had October on it, and October is all gone. <laughs> now, McGee, you'll have to tear the paper down and get that calendar out. And be sure your coat isn't hanging on the wall before you go on, paper. <laughs> Chuck, Molly, don't rub it in. Accidents will happen. Sure, but let somebody else have some accidents. You don't have to have them all. Aha! There's me calendar. Thanksgiving's on the 28th. Let's see now, that's less than four weeks away. There. There we are, all nice and neat. McGee. What's the matter, Molly? What are you going to do about that bear place up there on the wall? Where? Up there? Well, you see, Molly, silly here must have cut that strip too short and it don't... No, see, you cut that beat yourself, Mr. <laughs> McGee. <laughs> well, anyway, it's about eight inches too short to hit the molding, Molly. Well? Well, what? Well, what are you going to do about it? Well, I don't know. We could move the molding down if you'll just fetch the hammer there, Molly. <laughs> Give her a McGee sometimes, oh, I... Oh, don't worry about it, Molly. Ready with the next strip there, silly? Yes. You see, Molly? Now watch how slick this here piece goes on. First, I match up the bottom edge... And quick but careful, I run the brush up the port side there. Now then, and the left side. There, ah, how do you like that, Molly? Fine, but was it necessary for you to stick your thumb through the paper? Where? Right there. Oh, there. <laughs> Chuck, that won't show none. Move the paste pail over closer to me, silly. Yes. Yeah, Chuck, I think we're coming along okay. You know, I used to have me my old little paper hanging business, son. Is that so? Yeah, down in Paducah, Kentucky. I had me the best paper hanging business in town. Did some real delicate work, too. Pastel McGee, they called me. Oh. Pastel McGee, plastering, painting, and paper hanging for particular Paducah people. Uh, McGee, uh, take your elbow out of the paste pail. Oh, oh yeah. thanks for the tip. You ready there, silly? Yeah, so you all want me to get on the ladder, you all. No, you get up there. I'll stay down here and hold her steady for you. So, uh, where are you going, Molly? I've got me work to do, McGee. And for goodness sake, try to get the paper on right. It'll look bad enough then. Okay there now, silly. Now watch yourself. Hold it a mite higher. Yes, sir. Better watch out for that little old paste bucket, Mr. McGee. What say, son? I say you better watch out for that little old paste bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching it. Now you get your top edge even with the mold in there, boy. That's it. Up a little more. Now, now hold it. Hold it whilst I get the bottom of Dead rat to dead. Now, Chuck, look at that there carpet. Mm, ain't that a mess, though? Oh, sure. Oh. Tell her, silly. Yeah. Quick, uh, think of something. Yeah. Tell her. Miss McGee just kicked the bucket, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you.
hills of Jim Town, the Esquire fashion play. I used to be a careless dresser, all but not of late. I've taken a walk in Jim Town, swinging in a jubilee way. The crowd yells, Hey, 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 And a brand new tie Got a brand new twinkle in my eye Do you know the reason why Got a brand new girl And I won't dispute She's the reason I've got a brand new tie And a brand new suit When I'm with her I gotta look my best Put on my tan shoes Gray spat Double-breasted vest I'm gonna wear my stick pin It's a Tecla Pearl With a brand new tie And a brand new suit And a brand new girl men playing got a brand new suit. The extra pair of trousers with the vocal pleats being beautifully fitted to Charles LeVere at the piano. So we'll hang that musical new suit in our closet and tell you how to get a new coat. A new and gleaming coat of protective luster that will keep your floors and linoleum looking like new. Now is the time to give your floors a glow coat polish to keep them clean and sparkling and protect them from the dirt and slush that will be tracked into the house this winter. Johnson's Glow Coat works like magic on dull, dingy floors. This remarkable liquid floor polish goes on the floors with practically no effort. You don't rub it in. You don't even have to bear down. In 20 minutes, Glow Coat dries to a beautiful luster that keeps your floors clean for weeks at a time. It saves you a lot of drudgery through the winter months. By the way, it's very economical to buy Glow Coat in the larger size can. Insist on Johnson's Glow Coat, the finest no-rubbing floor polish that can possibly be made. Now, glue those dials right where they are until next Monday night when we'll be back with another hilarious, harmonious how-to-do. We understand we'll meet Fibber in the guise of Sensational McGee, the celebrated sharp-shooting sergeant of the Scrappy 77. <laughs> And we'll have a bang-up time, I can tell you. And so, until we meet you Monday, remember, just as the best housekeepers use Johnson's Wax and Johnson's Glow Coat to keep their houses clean and shining, so the most particular car owners keep their cars sparkling with Johnson's Auto Wax and cleaner. This is Harlow Wilcox, the straight man. No ribbing, no bluffing. Good night. <laughs> Lovely day is from Top Hat. Got a brand new suit from the picture at home abroad. Ever McGee and Molly come to you from our Chicago studios. This is the National Broadcasting Company.